welcome to today's episode of your favorite new show, The Pride. And by welcome, we mean happy no more snow. I may be no weatherman, but I have bad news. It's supposed to snow this weekend. If it does, I may flip one. I'm supposed to be taking Sweetheart's pictures outside. That's right, Pace and High. Sweetheart's is this Saturday. Be ready to dance the night away, or at least until 10. Tickets cost more at the door, so if you're a cheapskate or just a little hard on cash, you can buy a ticket during lunch or at the finance office right now. And now we'll throw it over to Ivan to introduce our first story of the day. As many of you know, Ira Glass recently visited our school. We're going to let those who worked with him tell you more about it. We were sitting in A1, which is our student council period. Mr. Shorson came in and was like, hey, listen, I went to school with this girl, Miki, and, she, and he's like, and she's a producer for This American Life. She works with Ira Glass. They're doing a story on grand gestures of love for their Valentine's show. And they want to do a story here about asking people to dance it. As weeks went on and stuff, we got more information. We found out they were coming out on the 27th. And then they came here. We met them early in the morning before school. And they just, all day they spent interviewing people. Ira Glass was sitting in this room mm. and was interviewing people and they were coming in and they would leave after a bit. He spent a lot of time interviewing everyone he talked to. Like, at least 45 minutes with mm. every person he at least had an appointment with. And then, about lunchtime, they were like, hey, do you want to lead us around? We went into the cafeteria mm. and Ira was really intrigued and he was asking us like, hey, so who sits here and who sits where? And I was like, I kind of know. And yeah. so immediately the mic was on me and you kind of felt super weird because yeah. like you'd just be talking and then suddenly just this long black mic would just be in front of you and be like, everything I'm saying right now is being recorded. And it kind of made you think about what you were saying a little more. But when we came back, the Daily Herald was here and I were being interviewed. And my favorite thing about the situation was Kylie Borden just kind of walked into the room just she didn't want to be in class. And immediately he's like, and what's your name? And Kylie just kind of got dragged into this whole thing too. So I had to respond for my sweetheart stance. Ivan mentions he's like, hey, I'm answering today and they're tagging along. So they can see like how it's actually done. You guys should all come with me. We drove down, buried this like treasure chest in the snow. Like we had this like little like note to tell her where to find it. I knocked and I ran back and I got in the car. We were trying to like hide, you know, in the car as she was walking down the road. And then uh, Kylie was trying to like look over and she hit the horn somehow. And they like look around and Kylie just starts her car and Ivan ducks under the dashboard and they just drive away. <laughs> oh shoot, like we gotta get out of here. They tagged along on an ask. And I think that was the most interesting thing they could have done. And I think they had a lot of fun. They're gonna take all these stories that they gathered, like, you know, like eight hours of story, and then they're just gonna cut it down. The segment's only gonna be like eight to 10 minutes long. Overall, it was a really great experience. It was really cool. I put this up there as another claim to fame, a lot up there with Footloose. We're gonna end up with something really cool. And we're gonna be like, man, like, look at our school. Like, it's so awesome that we could be seen all around the world. If anyone is wondering, and all of you should be, the podcast featuring Pace and High will go live on February 18th and hit iTunes on the 19th. This is such a cool opportunity to be able to show our school pride to the nation. Another way you can show pride is by investing in a spirit shirt. It has the fight song on the back of it for crying out loud. I was just in the darkness. It was about a week ago. Everything just started to get better. It's just like everything that was wrong in your life, now it's right. I've, I've never felt this way before. It made me a better person. It, it changed, changed our lives! What are you guys even talking about? Spirit, Spirit shirts. shirts. No. Senior shirts. Remember, spirit shirts are sold during lunch and before basketball games, along with our ever cool pennants. But if you already have one and aren't quite tired of wearing it yet, wear it to state wrestling! Or at least what's left of it, which is a lot. Let's throw it over to Kylie for our sports update. Today our wrestlers are at UVU for state. 
We have seven boys still in semifinals and four alive in constellation brackets. Wrestling starts today at 12 and finals start tonight at 5.30. Don't forget to show up wearing pace and green to show your support. Tomorrow night, there is a basketball game at 5.30 for girls and 7 for boys. See you there. Back to Sam and Esri. Thanks, Kylie. I'm so proud to be a lion. Me too. Like she said, go support if possible. Takes care of your plans for this beautiful night pretty well. And for tomorrow night, if you are interested in participating, Miss Sanaquin, there's a meeting you should go to. Check the posters in the hallways for more information. But if you don't qualify for Miss Sanaquin, no need to fear. Miss Payson is here. The information meeting for Miss Payson will be taking place on February 15th. Remember, there's a chess tournament on February 25th, too. Go chess! Now we're throwing it over to our very own Max Benyon for our favorite segment, World in a Minute. Take it away, Maxwell. World in a Minute, go. A snowstorm has hit the Northeast United States, leaving flights canceled and schools closed. Meanwhile, protests of all sorts of different things continue across America, even one against Tom Brady, because politics. In the UK, the Brexit bill has been approved by the House of Commons and will move to the House of Lords later this month for a final decision. More than 100 have died along the Afghan-Pakistani border due to landslides. Somalia recently elected their former prime minister, a dual U.S.-Somali citizen, as their new president. And Jovenel Mose, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, was just sworn in as president of Haiti after a vacant presidency since early 2016. Away from politics, crash test dummies are getting supersized to resemble obese drivers. Meanwhile, a dog named Lucy has spent seven years learning to sniff out cancer and can now detect it correctly 95% of the time. That's right, man's best friend can find cancer more definitively than some machines. This has been World in a Minute. Back to you, Sam and Esri. Thanks, Max. That was such an informative segment. Now, PHS, go get informed in the second period. This has been The Pride. See you next time.